Hello there. It's Friday, August 30th. It is 2.50 p.m. I am Yvonne DeSellis coming to you on YDC TV. This is an attempt, and I'm hoping not a futile one, this is an attempt at making a video where I am audible and I can be seen. I'm having a lot of problems with my camera situation right now. I have an iPad, but the headphone that I have, the microphone, does not work at all. Not well. And when I wear this, I can't show you guys things like tugging on your ears, stuff like that, because I would like to do a video at some point about energy healing exercises you can do to quickly wake yourself up if you're feeling tired. Unfortunately, like I said, these get in the way because one of the exercises involves pulling your ear lobes all the way around, and you can't see me do that when my ears are covered. So, once again, the hunt for a microphone is still on. I will keep trying, so I apologize for that, but I'm going to just try to do this breathing exercise video one more time because the breathing that I learned, the methods that I learned in a CVT session that I've been a member of for a couple of months, it's part of a study, an MS study that I did for a medical group. It was called the MS ADAPT study, and they broke us into three groups. One group was going to specialize in mindfulness, the other group was going to specialize in CBT, and then they put one group of people together and said, just keep doing things the way you are. And for those of us who didn't get put into the two groups, at the end of the study, we were offered two months of free CBT sessions every week, and it was really interesting. And I know breathing can make a huge difference, and the breathing methods that I learned in the CBT course were wonderful, so I wanted to share them with you. And I did a prior video about it, but I couldn't hear myself at all, partly because it was really, really hot, and when it is, I cannot turn the air conditioner off. I have multiple sclerosis. Heat makes my symptoms flare up like crazy. But I'm taking advantage of the fact that it's not that hot today so that I can try to do this one more time. I'm going to just show you the three breathing exercises we were shown. If you want to see my nude energy healing breathing stuff, I'll put a link to that video on here, but this is CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy breathing that I learned. Very relaxing. She taught us several different methods. There were a couple that I didn't like, so I'm only going to show you the ones that I really liked and that I benefited from, but keep in mind, you should do what works for you. So the very first thing she taught us was diaphragmatic breathing, or belly breathing. And basically what it means, and keep in mind when I say breathe into your belly, I know that it's not necessarily physically possible for you to force your breath directly into your belly, but I'm going to stand. You don't have to stand for this. But when I say breathe into your belly, I just mean you should eventually feel your belly going up when you breathe. So I'm just going to do an inhale. I'm going to breathe in through the nose and go. This comes up first, then the lungs, then the belly. For me, I don't know what the order is for you. That's one of the nice things. When you do the diaphragmatic breathing, the first thing they tell you to do is put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, and then maybe have your thumb or something up on your diaphragm so that you can pay attention to what moves when you inhale. So I'm going to breathe in, diaphragm first, then lungs, then belly. So when I say breathe into your belly, what I mean is when you inhale, try to just use the intention of feeling your belly fill up. You don't want to force it, though want to have it feel natural, but just try to put that intention in that you're putting air into your belly when you breathe in. So breathe in, and again, hand on chest and on belly with a thumb up on your diaphragm, and just breathe in. Take note of what lifts and when. For me, again, my, my order seems to be diaphragm first, then lungs, and then lower stomach or sacrum area. So I'm standing again to show you what I mean. Lower belly, up here, solar plexus in the diaphragm area, that seems to fill up first for me, then my lungs, then my lower belly. So I try to envision that my belly is filling up while I'm breathing in. And then when you breathe out, just let it out slowly out through your mouth. Um, she also recommends that when you do the breathing to breathe very slowly and mindfully. So take a deep breath in slowly and notice what parts of you rise up as you breathe in. Hold it for just one second, and then breathe out through your mouth. And note the order of what goes down first. I think for me, it's my lungs first. And then my diaphragm, and then my belly. I might be timing that wrong. I'm going to do this one more time, so a breath in. And out. 
Okay, for me on the breath out on that one, it might have been because I was thinking of it, but it was belly first, then diaphragm, then chest. So just play around with that for a little while. So once again, that's called diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. You can find things about that online too, if you're interested. Um, leave me a comment down below if you want more information about that one. That's a really good, good, good one. That's a good one to just be mindful of what's lifting and what's lowering and also just to breathe slowly and deliberately. The next thing she taught us was timed breathing. She had us continue with the diaphragmatic breathing. The only difference was when we breathe in, she had us do a count. I think for the class it was a four count. For me, four count was too short. I ended up having to do a five count. So you breathe in and you count, and then you hold it for a second. And then when you breathe out, the breath out should be longer than the breath in. So the way I worked it out for me, I believe, was five seconds in with a one second pause and then seven seconds out. And you want to make sure when you breathe out that you try to completely expel the air from your lungs because you're going to breathe in right away, pause, and breathe out. So let's just try this. And what I also recommend to um, other people in the class said this as well, and I've done the same thing. I do 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 this every single night, but I find that the count is just way too distracting for me to continue doing. So I start off with the counting and I maybe do the counted or timed breathing for maybe three or four breaths, but I find a pattern that I'm happy with and that fits into the count. And then I eventually stop counting. I just try to find a pattern and work with it. Again, what you do is up to you. You want to do whatever feels right. So just as an example, let's do a couple of breaths together. So I breathe in, let's try five seconds for a breath in, so hold it, and then out. Okay, for me that was eight seconds out, and then breath in, hold it, and out. I'm going to cut it short here because I know your time is valuable. I don't want to waste your time, but that's what I mean by timed breathing. You want to get, get a count set up and try to do the same count for each breath for as long as you can. Um, just do it for a while. It should be calming. It also takes your mind off things, hopefully takes your mind off things that are stressing you out. I also find it very helpful if I'm having problems with insomnia. I find counting or maybe breathing to be very, very helpful. It's a little bit monotonous, which maybe would help knock me out. I don't know for sure, but I've heard this from other people. If you have problems falling asleep, try the timed breathing out. You might be surprised. It might be helpful. I really hope it does help you. As I said, I wanted to show you three things. So this last one, it's kind of a combination of the first two things I showed you with one addition. And I should also mention, I know I said I had the intro to energy healing thing. I do talk about this, but one thing I add to all of these breathing exercises to kind of put an energy healing twist on it is I always keep my tongue at the roof of my mouth. Sometimes when I breathe out, I let it drop, but I try to keep my tongue at the top, at right up against the back of my top row of teeth because it keeps you from being dry mouth. It can prevent dry mouth. It is something that is a de-stressor. It's a regular Reiki breathing methodology. It's really helpful. Um, it also unlocks the pathways between your chakras, particularly the seven main chakras that go from top of the head to the genitals. Those aren't the only chakras. Those are the main ones, the seven main chakras. But anyway, last one. As I said, it's kind of a combination of the other breathing methods. So you can do the belly breathing and the deep breathing and the timed breathing, but instead of counting when you're inhaling and exhaling, when you're inhaling, do an affirmation. And then when you exhale, just think of the word relax. And what I wound up doing, I, I'm not going to put my hand on my chest or my diaphragm here because I, I, I can feel when I'm breathing into my belly, but you're going to breathe slowly, deliberately and mindfully. But when you breathe in, think of an affirmation. I'm going to say mine out loud, which obviously you won't be able to do because you're going to be inhaling. You're going to be mentally thinking of your affirmation. But when I breathe in, I think of something like, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. I'm going to be okay. And then as you breathe out, just think of the word relax. And again, try to do the longer breath out than breathing in, but just think of the word relax. Either one long relax or just relax, relax, relax. 
and then breathe in and think of your affirmation again and then once again breathe out and relax 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 and those are the breathing exercises I wanted to show you again and once again I really hope I'm audible this time I'm sorry that the other one came out as badly as it did I don't know why it came out so bad I know that the background noises of my refrigerator and my air conditioner kind of conflicted I hope they didn't hear again I really hope you guys can hear me let me know in the comments down below once again the new name of this organization it's no longer YDC TV it's now Y Energy Hope that's helpful. Hope you like the new name and the new logo. Let me know once again in the comments down below. And also, if you know anyone who could benefit from this, please share this with them. Thank you, as always, so much for your time. If you're new,